Hey guys, welcome back to the Snap Brain Chronicles. Today we're back at you with a knife video. Something a little bit different, not the usual tools or ratchets, but today I figured I'd do a knife video. And it's a Gordon Bowie knife. And Gordon, of course, is a brand of Harbor Freight. Uh, but before we jump into this, if you can give me a like and also subscribe to this channel, it would really help me out and I'd appreciate it. Okay, thank you. So, yeah, I went to um, Harbor Freight, which I do <laughs> probably at least once a week or every other week. And, I don't know, sometimes I just go in there to relax. I, I'll be honest, because a lot, I, I, I think I know by heart everything that's in there already. And just, uh, it's close to my house, so I... There's a Starbucks nearby, and I get a Starbucks, and then I just stroll through the aisles of, uh, the Starbucks is right next door to the Harbor Freight, then I just go into the Harbor Freight and just stroll through the aisles, just, uh, just looking at stuff, you know, kind of relaxing. Uh, but this week, I noticed they had a, uh, one of those instant coupons, uh, not a coupon, but like an instant savings that's automatic. Uh, it's it's already uh, listed on the item on the aisle. So you don't need to look for a coupon or anything. And one of the items that was instant rebate was the Gordon Bowie knife. And as we know, this is a copy or a replica of the Buck 119 knife. So, if it looks similar, it's because it is similar. It's pretty much the same knife, except that this is a lot cheaper, and we'll get into that in a second. And, oh, by the way, this was, originally, this is $25, and they had it with the instant rebate, instant coupon, whatever. Uh, it's $19.99, so $20. So, they took off $5.00 for this instant rebate and this is item 58090 and it's known as the bowie knife a six inch blade heat treated blade ergonomic grips through tank construction durable fixed blade design ten and a half overall length ten and a half inches overall length and the metal on this knife is 7CR17MOV, say that again, 7CR17MOV, which is considered an okay, kind of, not the greatest, but not pretty, pretty decent for a cheap knife, uh, metal, uh, a lot of people consider it alright, so, not, not the cheapest metal, so, seems okay stainless steel superior edge retention synthetic resin handle aluminum handguard i guess this is the handguards or well, mainly this one and it says it's aluminum and genuine leather genuine leather sheath all right on the back Specifications, resin, uh, synthetic resin handle with ergonomic grip for easy use without slipping. Includes protective leather sheath with belt loop. Heat treated blade for maximum strength and durability. Perfect for piercing, detail work, and cutting in tight spaces. Fuller reduces the weight of the blade for easy use. And where is this made? Of course it's made in china so let's take it out and see what we got it comes with a little doohickey for moisture i guess and another little tab for it says mildew proof piece so I guess they put two little 
two little things in there and in the back they have the sheath and we'll jump into this in a second move these out of the way okay so here's the knife it comes with a little tip guard plastic it's very pointy you see the point there and you can see the edge not bad looks like the edge is in good shape there's it looks uniform throughout no nicks or anything like that so that looks pretty decent here's the fuller they're talking about some people call it a blood groove but I guess the accurate description would be a fuller doesn't look too deep though I don't know how much weight they saved by that and on the blade is marked GK21 and it looks like it's lasered on there so it's not very deep the handle it has this is not rubber it's like they said a synthetic I would say plastic I don't know um, I could be wrong but to me it seems like plastic and they did call it synthetic resin so I would assume it is sort of a plastic it's a pretty thick grip you can see there that's the profile but you look at overhead you see how thick the grip is here I mean I have small hands and this is pretty comfortable I have to say I don't know how this would be if it's wet because it's pretty smooth right now so it might be a little slippery if it got moist so I'm not too sure about that but it does give a nice grip at least for my hands see my hands are pretty small but it does feel like a secure grip there and here's uh, the guard say it's aluminum and let's see grab a little magnet yeah it's not it's not magnetizing so yeah I will say it's some sort of aluminum uh, let me see if uh, you see it's it doesn't go all the way like the whole length or width of the blade doesn't go into the handle it just from what I can see I don't know if you can tell maybe you can it's about let me, let me go into the inches maybe around half an inch a half inch of the blade you see it uh, goes into the handle uh, width wise you can see it starts kind of there and then over on this end it kind of starts over here so you can see maybe a little bit there so I wouldn't say like a rat tail but it's kind of like half inch of the tang it has like a half inch tang that goes in and the the width of the blade it's a hair under three sixteenths three sixteenths of an inch if you want to do millimeters it's a hair over four millimeters so a pretty thick blade I would say and they say this is six inches let's see the length it's just a hair a hair under six inches 
maybe one sixteenth of an inch or less under six inches and there goes the magnet and I just got the magnet out to see if it, it did go through all the way to the handle to the back and it's weird because the over here it does stick but when you go down it wants the magnet wants to flip for some reason it doesn't so yeah there is some uh, magnetism down here but if you flip it over it doesn't want to stay like that it wants to flip over then over here it wants to flip over I don't know what that's about uh, you guys that know more than I do about magnetism if you can explain that but it does seem like there is a uh, magnetism that goes all the way through the handle and just for in case anybody was wondering what how long the handle piece is it's about it's about four and a half inches from the top of the guard to the end of the handle okay that's the blade and this is the leather sheath and I will say it is leather it does look like leather it has a snap it has like a little rivet here that holds the loop and another little rivet that holds I guess the loop inside and there is a plastic form inside the sheath that goes inside I guess that keeps it uh, keeps it from going flat it keeps it open so you have that and just to look at the leather and the, the thickness of the leather you can see how thick the leather th is there I'll try to capture this in millimeters and see if I, I can it's about two millimeters thick the leather let me look real good to make sure yeah about two millimeters thick so it's not a very thick not a very thick sheath uh, is some of a see the inside has this piece here which is a thicker leather leather piece at the end goes all the way down all the way down all the way down and then at the end it's just an open hole and here's a look at the snap I have to say the snap is pretty firm it's not one of those loose real loosey goosey snaps so that's pretty decent uh, and like I said it's leather but not a th not the thickest leather you would want but for twenty dollars to have even a leather sheath is pretty good I think even though it's <clears throat> it's a little thin but it looks like it'll hold up for a while doesn't look like it's a total piece of uh, you know whatever you know looks okay <clears throat> I mean if you took care of it seems like it would last for a while <clears throat> Yeah, so that's it. That's what I got out of this knife. Uh, like I said, twenty dollars right now. <clears throat> Usually this is twenty, twenty-five. For twenty dollars, it seems okay. Seems like a pretty decent knife for twenty dollars. The quality seems okay. Seems decent quality for twenty dollars. Has a leather sheath, which is a little thin, but seems pretty good not too bad you know that's uh i gotta give them points for that they could have they could have provided a really crappy sheath which happens a lot when you buy a knife nowadays you even some of the not the cheapest knives you buy them and they'll come with a super crappy sheath but this one's not too bad the sheath and the blade looks pretty decent i mean 
like I haven't used it or anything, but it seems like a decent the edge is pretty good. Uh these came pretty sharp right out of the box. So uh all in all for twenty dollars, yeah, I, I think this is a decent buy. For twenty five, mm, I'm kinda cheap. <laughs> uh twenty five would be at the limit, I would think that this would be a good buy. But for twenty dollars, yeah, I think it's I think so. It's a decent buy. Okay guys, until next time.